We begin with our platinum surface. Our alkene comes down and adsorbs onto the surface of the platinum. It does this by using those electrons in its pi bond, the double bond. Now, I'm going to redraw this slightly with bonds directly from the carbon atoms to the platinum. This is not to say it is a more or less accurate representation of how the alkene interacts with the platinum, but it is simply done because it makes it clearer to see what happens next. And that is, our hydrogen arrives on the scene. And it comes down and it also adsorbs onto the surface. But in this case, there's no pi electron system to attach through. So instead, the two hydrogen atoms detach from each other and are now separately attached to the surface of the platinum free to wander off on their own. Let's see what happens when the first hydrogen approaches our alkene. You can see that as it comes in, it begins to bind to the carbon. The alkene lifts up from one end of the platinum. And now we have a CH3 group present. The other end is still bound to the platinum, however. Next, the other hydrogen comes in and interacts with our hydrocarbon. It breaks that final carbon-platinum bond, generating our reduced alkane. Now, free from interaction with the platinum, it can float off and go about its merry way.